Let the world know I've arrived. I'm on the rise. Unstoppable. Watch me do the impossible. Watch me do what I got to do. I'm too hot for you. I'm not about to lose. I'm the greatest. Big smile for the haters. Whole world know that I made it. Call me the greatest. Big boy famous. Mr. Amazing. Blazing. Call me the greatest. Say it again. I will not ever pretend. Call it revenge. Tell all your friends. That boy at it again. Call me the greatest. It's the moment of your life. You can see your dreams blowing in the lights. Came up from nothing. A soldier in the fight. Shrink dream with bullets on my shoulder. Welcome back, everybody. Crimson here on the Wrestling Talk channel. Here to give you my raw March 11th, 2024 review. Uh, raw was on fire tonight. Uh, great show. Um, it all started off with Drew McIntyre starting the show uh, as the wet chants were really getting under his skin. Uh, he said, say what? If you're glad I took out CM Punk. Drew McIntyre gets tired of the what chance from the crowd and uses it against them while also taking another shot at punk. Then we have Seth Rollins interrupting. He comes out and uh, he says, I always thought CM Punk was the biggest hypocrite until I met you, Seth the Drew. Punk kept catching strays from both Seth and Drew. I'm telling you, they are treating punk like he's a part of this rivalry somehow. And uh, he's returning soon. I hope I'm right. And he's a special referee. He only needs one arm to do the job. Moving on, we had um, Seth, you know, asking Drew for another Claymore. Calls him a coward, wanting Drew to hit him. Uh, Drew backs down. Our first match, Becky Lynch versus Liv Morgan. Becky wins. Great match. I was expecting an interference in that match, and I'm glad there wasn't. These ladies delivered. Excellent match. The Kabuki Warriors versus Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler. Kabuki, uh, Kabuki Warriors retain. Uh, I think we all saw that one coming. Um, great match as well. We have Archers coming out, cutting a fool. Uh, he's hilarious. Moving on, we had a very emotional interview between Cody Rhodes and Michael Cole. Um, he he really got into it, man. It was very emotional for him. Cody broke out almost in tears while saying he can't hand the title to his dad, but he can hand it to his mom, which is very, very sweet. Cody says we are in the last inning of the story. Um, he also said, I went off. Into the distance, I smashed the throne, and the person that sits on that throne has now become my closest working ally. Um, Cody acknowledges the throne smash incident in AW. Um, he also says, I don't know if The Rock is my boss, but if he is, it feels good to slap your boss. Um, I think CM Punk would agree. Um, that's just me. Uh, Becky and Liv moving on. Uh, they they buried the hatchet, shake hands, but Nia Jax takes them out from behind. I really hope this isn't leading to a fatal four way at WrestleMania because Rhea and Becky deserve to have a one on one match. I'm not against Nia and Liv having a match against each other at WrestleMania uh, in a David versus Goliath match, making it an extreme match to go with Liv's gimmick and give her a chance to actually beat Nia. I mean, anyways, um, moving on, we have backstage, our true, or no, was it out there in the ring? Out there, we had Cena versus Undertaker versus, and with DX ringside, Damian Priest <laughs> defeats our truth in a great match. Um, he got really mad in that ring, man. He, Damian Priest was not having it. Um, Jeeves comes out. So what's this about? Brother versus brother. Twin versus twin. Blood versus blood. Uso versus Uso. Jay versus Jimmy. At WrestleMania, Jay has laid out the challenge. It's going to happen. And uh, that's one match I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh we had this um, disagreement backstage between 
AP and Nick Aldis with uh, what the Judgment Day is going to do. Uh, defeat several brackets of different um, talent. And uh, it just wasn't something that they really wanted to. Uh, didn't sound like they were too keen on that idea. So uh, they took it out on all our truth. Poor guy. Disagreements. Um, but moving on, we have Ricochet versus J.D. McDonough. An excellent match. He eliminates J.D. McDonough. Then we have Big Bronson Reed that came out. They put on a great show. Then I thought Ricochet was going to hang in there longer, but I was wrong. Bronson Reed eliminated Ricochet. Sammy came out, took on Big Bronson Reed, and hey, he eliminated him. Sammy survives until Nakamura comes out. He had to, man, what a stellar match. Him and Nakamura in the ring, um, it's art. It's it's pure art. He He eliminates Nakamura, and we have Chad Gable. It's good to see him. Versus Sammy. Sammy eliminated Chad Gable. And. Chad. And Sammy. Um, showed very good sportsmanship. Towards the end of that match. It was awesome. You know. you know, Michael Cole mentions that. Sammy is celebrating. And hasn't ate and drank. Throughout the whole day. Sammy. <laughs> Eliminates Bronson Reed with a top rope blue thunder bomb. And hits Sammy with a tsunami afterwards. Shimsuke Nakamura. He hung in there, but man. Um, he mentions that Chad Gable is the only superstar in this gauntlet match who hasn't won any singles title match here in the WWE. Um, that was Michael Cole. Um, but Sammy rolls up Gable. Sammy wins the gauntlet match. Sammy's going to WrestleMania. Uh, we knew it was going to happen. Um, I think Ricochet eliminated JD McDonough in about 12 minutes. Bronson Reed eliminated Ricochet about 14 minutes, 20 seconds into the match. Sammy Zayn eliminates big Bronson Reed 21 Minutes and six seconds in that match. Sami Zayn eliminates Shimsuke Nakamura. 28 minutes and 30 seconds in that match. And Sami Zayn eliminates Chad Gable. 41 minutes and 32 seconds in that gauntlet match. Um, just like I said last week, a babyface would eliminate three people and win. Uh, they book the same gauntlet match every single time. Damn, kind of a bummer. But I hate to say that because I love Sami. But I just... I just I feel like it's Chad Gable's time. The entire crowd was behind him. Uh, Sammy has been the Intercontinental Champion three times already. It's been a good match, but this should be... It should have been Gable's time, you know? But um, Gunther comes out. It's official towards the end. You know, I didn't want this match. It's going to be a good match for sure, but what does Sammy gain? He's already been... A three-time Intercontinental Champion, man. He's all over. He's already over. He may have ended WrestleMania last year. The guy who finally beats Gunther should be a guy who has never been a champ and needs the push. Give him the push! But, uh, hey, that's, that's, that's whatever. I may not agree. But I will rate Raw a four out of five. Solid show. Uh, Get down in the comments below and tell me what you guys thought. I thought it was great. Um, we're getting closer to WrestleMania. The shows are going to pick up. They're getting way better. And uh, I just, I love this time of year, man. I love it. I love it. And uh, hopefully you love wrestling talk. Consider liking, subscribing. And seriously, get down in the comments below. Um, what are you excited most for? Uh, it's coming SmackDown. What are you excited most for this next Raw uh, or WrestleMania? Get down there. And, uh, well, we're going to close her on out here. 
thank you guys for watching. This has been your chief content officer, Crimson, here. And uh, one thing that we would like to say around here is wrestle on.